guys, today I have a very unusual game for you. I know it's completely different from anything we do on this channel, but I actually made one video about this game before, but it was in very old version and the game wasn't as broad, as complicated as it is right now. Right now I'm playing a lot of this game and I finally decided to make a video on it. Maybe you'll find it interesting, but I wasn't planning on doing it. But this, I'm very proud of my current base, it's it's very nice, it's still there is a long, uh, a long time to go, a lot of things we can do and improve, and I'm still working on it. But, I'm making this video basically for people who actually play this game, and who can understand and appreciate what I'm gonna show you right now. This is probably the most amazing thing, the most fortunate thing on the map that I've ever seen in Oxygen not included. I can share this seed of this map, because... This is the best map I've ever had. I have one water geyser here, a water geyser. I have another water geyser a little bit below, which is insane. Two water geysers so close to the base, but not too close to make it too hot. Then I have a natural uh, gas geyser right here, which uh, where I have this uh, beautiful uh, little power plant, which is currently working on the three generators because I just don't need that much power with all the transformers. There is still a lot of sweeping going on, but I just get, get, let my duplicates get to it. But what I want to show you guys, it's this thing that blew my mind. Do you see this water geyser? As you see, usually water geysers are super hot. They uh, produce uh, steam, which is getting converted to water, which is uh, usually uh, between 50 and 100 uh, degrees Celsius. Here we have 75 degrees, it's pretty hot. I need to pump it all through the ice biome to cool it down to 22 degrees. But here I have the nature doing it for me. Take a look, the water coming off of this geyser is 12 degrees because this geyser uh, space is directly connected to the ice biome which has three width wards in the bottom of it which means this thing is basically, it's almost never gonna stop. I realized that when I start pumping uh, water out of this system it's gonna go uh, up in temperature a little bit. But this huge amount of water with 13 degrees Celsius is just insane. When when this area was still hidden, I was like, I was seeing this bit of water, I would look at the temperature, uh, the temperature is so low, I mean, there is no way there is a geyser there. But there was a geyser, and it just blew my mind that it, the temperature is actually so low, so now I'm trying to dig my way out to it. I was actually, I'm actually having a lot of trouble with people just being idle, because there is just not much things to do in my colony. I think I need to uh, build a couple more uh, storage so people can start swiping because I just I just have a lot of stuff. I don't. I'm just putting them there temporarily. I want to uh, make my base really beautiful, so I'll have to rearrange everything. I'm quite proud of my water tank uh, with those uh, beautiful statues and some storage. Look at my temperature. I'm keeping temperature really cool. I have this awesome oxygen production sta station which is getting cooled right here. It's getting cooled with two thermal regulators which are always cool because I have water cooling system which is basically all the water from my showers, the cold one coming from this liquid vent, uh, liquid vent and then it's getting pumped out to this timbal reed. So basically I'm destroying heat and the water in this tank is basically always about the same temperature. So it's... it's... Uh, a heat destruction facility and it cools down my oxygen which is getting produced right here it's a little bit cumbersome it doesn't look very nice but it does supply me with enough oxygen to uh, power my entire colony look they already built everything it's a disaster the worst thing that can happen to your colony is when you people have nothing to do I literally have no idea what to let them do right now I need to build everything expand but I just most of the stuff I need to do, uh, I need uh, people to go out for it, and as you see right now, they're s sweeping on all this stuff, but I have only four exosuit stations there, so I, I, I could technically build more, but I, I never envisioned that there would be a moment where people would have nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do. Inside the base, they don't have to run anymore, because I have this beautiful power plant. They don't have to do anything. I completely stopped doing um, the... Uh, uh, the uh, mill ice because it consumes a lot of water and cool water it's pretty hard to come by at this game so I went completely to mushrooms it took a while 
This is a beautiful slime storage. Take a look. You just drip a little bit of water beside, uh, beneath the storage compactor and it doesn't emit polluted oxygen anymore. It's a nice little trick, which I honestly haven't seen anybody using. And I think it's it's a very amazing thing. I, I saw people putting those compactors completely underwater, which I think is unnecessary. That's more than enough to stop slime from spreading polluted oxygen. That's a very nice, beautiful contraption. I just pump all my polluted oxygen in here. This door, it lets the slime fall down, but it doesn't let the puffed out. So it's the best thing. The best... Uh, puffed farm you can come up with it's basically foolproof and you have a little bit of water here which means all the slime drops here and doesn't emit polluted oxygen anymore and I lock this door so they don't come here every second to pick it up because apparently now I can open it so they can do it because they have nothing else to do right now they're just digging in here which they already did almost so let's take a look guys this huge immense ice biome is gonna be so freaking amazing it's just gonna look minus five degrees in here and this this geezer was running for basically 159 cycles and the water is still super cold i don't <laughs> i feel like i need to uh, like uh, to heat it up but probably what i'm gonna uh, end up doing is just pump this water to my um to my station where I produce power, my power uh, plant, and just use it to cool down the space. I've set up uh, those batteries and um, power uh, transformers so I can just drip water from this place and it will be just running like here. So one stream will be able to cool down the entire system. Or I just can put piping like this so it will cool it as well, but I prefer drip cooling. And in the end, right here, when all the hot water is gonna be collected, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, like much hotter than it was uh, in the beginning. And I can just uh, destroy it by putting it in the uh, bristle blossom farm, which I'm thinking to build right now. I really want to start doing some bristle blossom, and I'm gonna do the same uh, drip cooling uh, for my uh, natural gas generators. I left a little spaces here for liquid vents just like I have here but I, I, I don't have any water hooked up to it right now I think I'll put my water from showers I, I mean, I mean all, this place can be uh, cooled down with clean water as well so I think I'll uh, plug clean water here but here I do need to use polluted water so it doesn't get mixed with the normal water and I do need to put a pump right here because it's getting higher and higher but I'll get to it a little bit later. Right now, I just I still can't get over my luck. I don't need to cool down this geyser. I have constant source of super cold liquid. And take a look, here's another ice biome. There's so many ice biomes. This one had just only one whiz word, which was sad. But currently I have like I almost melted it down completely. I think uh, it's not gonna last for a very long time. Wow, I actually need to uh, increase the flow a little bit because the water is gonna be too cold that is coming inside my base. Apparently it's possible to make your base too cold, guys. Or I could even do... Uh, I could uh, store here... What am I... I'm storing everything here. I don't want to store anything in here. Take it away. This uh, storage compactor was made for... for ice. I wanted to store ice here, but I don't want to do it right now because my water is pretty cool right now. And if I... Uh, I can even freeze it if I put it too much ice in it. So, the temperature in my base is pretty good now, guys. Anyway, I I don't want to do a very long episode. This is just a quick rundown of my base. I've been playing this game a lot. Honestly, it's not my first base. I, I Even in the new oil update, I already had, uh, I think, about two or three bases, which weren't that successful because I didn't have all the geysers nearby and... It's... Uh, I have a lot of oil. I actually did produce some plastic here with a little bit of water cooling. I don't produce anymore because I just don't need to. I needed some plastic just so I can trap this slickster in here and he basically destroys all my carbon dioxide and puts all the oil in here. I do need to make uh, some way to collect this oil, but again, it's not an emergency. There is still a lot of things I can do, but uh, currently I just... I don't know where to start, honestly. I want to make my base uh, the normal shape and put uh, insulated abyssalite tiles on the uh, edges so my base will maintain uh, the same temperature. I removed all heat sources from the base. 
absolutely every single hit source. Nothing is producing hit inside this base. Except this little contraption which is gonna be removed very soon too. I wanna filter out all the polluted oxygen from here. Open all these areas where which have... Oh my god, it's so much polluted oxygen. And I just want to pump it out. Feed it off all to this puffed. I honestly don't understand why so many people are trying to use oxygen deodorizers for this. It consumes so much sand, and sand is limited resource in this game, so I would much rather use this beautiful puffed. It's super easy to trap a puffed. It will take you just a couple of tries to build walls around him. Like, look, if you have a room like this with a puffed, you basically already have him trapped. But I think this construction is much more efficient. It doesn't require your puffed to continuously... Uh, like, uh, th if, if it produces slime, that slime will give out uh, more polluted oxygen, it will be just stuck in the loop. But here, it's super clean. It converts polluted oxygen into slime, which is, I'm pretty sure... Okay, it does have some germs. That's fine. It's still gonna be, uh, like, when it's gonna be taken out, it's gonna be put uh, through the ore scrubber. And then put in these containers, which contain slime. Uh, I use slime only for my uh, mushroom farm. Which I'm currently out of food. Okay... Okay, I, I think I need to expand this somehow. I definitely need more mushrooms. Or I just uh, can uh, put a few meal lice again. I just removed them a few cycles ago because I didn't want to consume too much water. But since we found this beautiful, cool geyser, I can start pumping water out of here inside my beautiful container. I'm definitely gonna do that right now and you will be surprised how fast it's all gonna be built because I have all my duplicates basically doing nothing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just just do it real quick I want to uh, keep my water supply high at all times and while I can uh, get uh, very uh, cold water without any additional means to cooling it I think it's the best thing you can find in your game guys water geezer that is basically self-cooling it's just so insane i understand it's not gonna be forever uh it's definitely gonna be tapped out at some point i don't really remember where i am where is my this wire i'm pretty sure it still has some capacity to it yeah it's just it's just running two of these so i can definitely hook up a pump look it's being built so ridiculously fast and plumbing I don't even need to cool it down I can use basically I'm not gonna use granite pumps uh, pipes because I don't want to cool my base down too much but it's still gonna cool it down quite a bit come on guys build it I want to see the beautiful cold water going into my base I, I, I know it's super lucky and probably if if you can tell me a way how to how can I find a seed of this world that I'm using right now I didn't write it down when I started because I didn't expect such an amazing map but it has everything it has oil geyser guys are pr pretty much uh, nearby what's that what's that pipe no it's not the pipe I want I want to run it uh, to uh, this pipe not okay igneous rock I have quite a lot of it I want it go into this pipe, so I'll just do something like this and use a couple of uh, bridges. It's gonna be amazing, guys. Let me know in the comments if you played this game and if you had any uh, such amazing discoveries. I think it's the best discovery I've ever made inside this game. I mean, the location of Gizzards is pretty fine. It's close to the base. I like... In a few maps, I had a problem with the geyser was too close uh, to the uh, map, to my main colony, and it was producing a lot of heat hitting up my base pretty quickly, but in here, the location of even of this geyser, geyser, uh, whatever you want to call it, look, it's basically, it's protected uh, f uh, with abyssalite, and I put some abyssalite tiles right here. It's basically, uh, the only place it can give, uh, give out heat is in here, a little bit uh, s sleeve in here that gives out quite a bit of heat, which... I blocked with abyssalite uh, insulated tiles as well, so my base is not getting heated up from the outside. And it's pretty easy to cool down this oxygen which comes uh, at about 53-54 degrees and I cool it down. I can even put another one of those, it's not gonna make much difference. And I, I'm cooling it down basically to, let's see, to 25 degrees. I may even consider somehow cooling it a little bit more because 26... It's a little bit high. I want uh, the uh, air that comes to the base uh, to be a little bit um, uh, colder 
I actually don't need to run this thing anymore. I don't know why I'm still running it. I just have so much algae. Look, 35 tons of algae. Ha! <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I set up this system almost in the beginning. Like, as soon as I discovered this geyser, I, I made this system. Then I added those pipes later. That took a lot of time. But this system, I try to start using electrolyzers as soon as I find uh, a geyser. I will go there immediately. And I was lucky enough to start digging in the right direction from the first time. As you see, I didn't do much digging. I did some digging down so I can find oil and make some plastic too. Um, I don't want to use water for carbon dioxide removal at all. This one, Slickster, can safely remove all the carbon dioxide from the base with 14 duplicates. And even more. It's... His capacity is amazing. I uh, I calculated approximately he works as efficient as uh, two or three uh, water purifiers. One creature that doesn't require anything works as efficient as three machines that will take all your water down. So, guys, try to set up as soon as uh, as soon as you hit oil. Try to set up uh, this simple just. Just to make at least enough plastic for one uh, trap and one relocator station. So you can tra uh, uh, trap one slickster and just make an efficient way to remove carbon uh, dioxide. And after that you'll just be able to get a cool crude oil from this guy. You don't need to pump the hot cold oil from here. I'm, s I'm, I'm definitely gonna do some plastic production on this base. I want to make a lot of plastic. I want to make all the letters from plastic. So they don't uh, ruin the decor. I have nine idle people. That's ridiculous. They they build it. I'm getting cool water now. Am I? Oh, is it unreachable? It's unreachable. So what am I supposed to do with with it being unreachable? I guess I could cheat a little bit. Ah, no. I need exosuit is gonna be too hard. How do I build it? I need to build it. Okay, I guess I'll just make the pump a little bit higher. Not a big deal, it's still, it still it has uh, too much water to actually complain about. I'll just make it here. It doesn't really matter that much. And let's connect the wire as well. I just want to see this flow. Re literally flow. And I, and I want to put a valve so I don't uh, get more water than I need. And I definitely don't want it to be heated up by outside world. So I definitely want to put some mechanized airlocks made of gold amalgam. Probably somewhere around here. I can even afford to power it because I have so much power with my power plant. I'll put even two here. That's not a big deal. If it's gonna be too much, I'll just disconnect them somehow. It's it's not a big deal. And I definitely want to put a valve, so I'll do this. Uh, liquid pipes. And let's put a valve in, uh, I think, here. I don't care actually where to put it. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game so much. If... If you want to see more videos of this series, please let me know in the comments. I would love... I would definitely... I, I will still keep playing this off-camera, but if you want to see... Uh, if this series becomes at least remotely popular, I would love to make a few videos to show you my colony, how it advances. And this this game is available on Steam right now. I, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. I've stopped playing for a while because I got bored, because this game didn't have much in the beginning, but now... It can really keep you occupied for a long, long time. This is amazing. And if you want to get into the game, if you have no idea what's going on here, I can make, like, a tutorial. Like, start completely new base from the very start. And just uh, give you my advice that I learned from playing this game for as much as I did. And I'm finally getting water. I don't need that much. I'll... I'll cap it down at like about 2,000 I think it's gonna be enough for me look at this look at all this water I'm gonna flood my water tank it's <laughs> it's so cool to have a problem not too little water but too much water I actually need to put a uh, carbon dioxide pump in here too because I'm pumping all the carbon dioxide from there but I definitely need to be pumping some from here oh and I can connect it to this line actually Guys, this is so perfect. It's it's freaking unbelievably perfect. And I like that 
I can I can afford to put everything on the default priority and they will do it momentarily because there is nothing, literally nothing these guys can do right now. I'm basically giving them a, a reason to live because there's nothing they're doing. I'll disable this building because I had a bunch of water here, I just filtered it out because I had no idea I would be able to find a source of, 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 of cold water. Sorry guys, seven people idle. We'll start uh, building water cooling system. I'll build more exosuits here so more people can get in this. They, look, they almost finished all the... <laughs> all the... Um, ah, damn it. S -s 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 Swiping. Sweeping. <laughs> look at this. Water, cool water at 24 degrees. So it's basically it's getting uh, hit up when he when it travels through the base. A little bit, so it's fine. I guess temperature is gonna go even more down. It's it's definitely he, uh, cooling down the base in here, which is kind of the hottest area because even though these are abyssalite tiles, it does let a little bit of the heat out through this door, which is not a big deal. And also, what I hate is that abyssalite tiles basically they as soon as you build them, they're gonna remain the same temperature all the time, and it's a little bit annoying when you look at the temperature layout. The temperature of the tile depends on the temperature of the piece of abyssalite that you dug out to make it. So I have no idea. They never change temperature because abyssalite has the uh, uh, the lowest uh, like temp uh, temperature conductivity, thermal conductivity. So basically, they are stuck in, at this color forever. There is they, they can't uh, adapt to the environment. Look, these tiles are getting cold because the water is in here is getting cold. It's so amazing to see. And look at this beautiful carbon dioxide getting fed to this uh, slickster. Okay, he's... I think he's starting to get a little bit overwhelmed in here. But that's fine, because as soon as... Um, like, it, it will just pump out. It has a lot of carbon dioxide in here. As soon as it's, it's done, it will be uh, pumping much less carbon dioxide. And I'm sure it's gonna be more than enough for this guy. He will be able to handle all of this. And he also handles all the carbon dioxide from my station here. So... I don't see any possibility for you to be producing more carbon dioxide than two slicksters can handle. I don't know why do they have so much of those in the game. I mean, I could get this one. I have one slickster right here. I didn't even need to tap uh, through the abyssalite to this uh, parts where there is so many slicksters. There is literally not so much carbon dioxide. Two is more than enough for every colony, and for the beginners, uh, for, for like, first few hundred cycles, one is gonna be more than enough, trust me. <laughs> These guys are powerhouses. And you're getting some crude oil from them, so you don't need to, like, work uh, in high temperatures and uh, explore all these germy areas. Actually, they're not that germy, look. There's almost no germs in the air because this thing is pumping out all the oxygen and feeding into this guy. And then basically oxygen getting uh, converted to slime which can be cleaned in, in this station. So this is the best way to clean the oxygen. Not oxygen deodorizers, just use a puffed. This is the perfect solution how you can do it. But even you can trap it even if you have him trapped in some kind of a room. You can just uh, pump your oxygen in here, even if it's uh, like put high pressure gas vent. It will still, uh, if it's gonna be high enough pressure in the room, the slime will still not give out oxygen. So it will not be all for nothing. But if you can do a setup like this, it will take some time to build your setup around puffed. You definitely will not be able to move puffed like too far away from where it was originally found. But you can definitely uh, build something like this around the puffed and. Finally start cleaning all this polluted oxygen. Basically every uh, polluted oxygen area that you're gonna open You can put a pump there and just pump everything in here and you will clean everything up It's the most efficient way. Alright guys, that's my base. It's still very uh, like I, I never even had a slime lung No, nothing because I have a lot of uh, exosuits and all this stuff I have a lot of oxygen on my base. Oh my god. I have so much uh, not so much in here actually I probably need to uh, get those pipes, like, outputting some oxygen, because all these vents are overpressurized, and I definitely need another output for my oxygen. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, if you want to see the entire series of this game, maybe you're not a regular subscriber to this channel, maybe you care only about this game, still, let me know in the comments if you want to see me making more videos. 
I could give a lot of uh, useful advices which will make your colony management much easier. Like uh, puff, using puffs, which I, I, I honestly haven't seen a single YouTuber right now who's using puffs at all, even though they have them in very close proximity to their bases. Slicksters, well, it's gonna be a little bit trickier to make some plastic to get those, but it's definitely manageable. Uh, you don't even need to manage heat that much, just put some water. It's too much, but you need to put a little bit less water in the uh, on the floor b behind the uh, polymer press and it will not overheat. You will be able to make a few thousand kilos of plastic just for emergency use and then just turn the system off forever. You don't even need to pump it, you just can put one of these, one of these and that's it! You're making plastic! It's pretty easy. Alright guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next videos. Goodbye!